want to talk a little bit about the design of this chest and especially the design of the details on this chest. I don't remember where I first read it. I think it was George Walker's Design Matters blog or maybe one of his popular woodworking articles. But he talked about um, designing a piece or looking at a piece from far, medium, and close. So a piece of furniture, you see it first from across the room, the far away view, and you're interested in the overall proportions and shapes and some of the larger elements. As you move closer, that piece of furniture will, will reveal more of itself to you. So maybe the drawers, the layout of the drawers, some of the hardware, different things like that. And then as you lean in close, that's where you see those really fine details, maybe inlay or carving or little pegs or other details. So I thought about that, um, I really liked that, and I used that uh, when I thought about designing this chest. So I thought about it from the overall design when I first started, looking at the overall proportions, the overall design, and then all the way down into those small details. So here we are at the far away view from across the room, and you notice the overall shape of this chest. It's obviously a chest. The dimensions are about two to one width to both depth and height. And um, you also, of course, notice the frame and panel being uh, walnut versus cherry. And you do see this K along the front. It's a little bit subtle. You might not recognize it as a K right away, uh, but you definitely can make that out. And that's kind of the overall, the far away view of this chest. Now here we are at a medium level of detail, and now you can start to see that the K is a curly walnut that's starting to come out. And also that pieces are in different planes, the top uh, panels inset from rails and styles, the same with the front panel. And you can also start to make out uh, maybe some of the pegs because they're in a different uh, uh, you know, their cherry versus the walnut, um, but you can't really see into those fine details quite yet. Now as we approach the piece and lean into it, we're starting to make out a lot of these details. From the pegs here on the top, the curved indent, how things are in different planes, the curved indent along the back, and then of course uh, the serifs along the foot, and then around the side you've got more peg details here on the side and all the way down to that back foot detail. The other thing I want to talk about is the design of the details on this chest. Now I was fortunate enough to recently take a class with Daryl Pert on green and green design. Green and Green were two brothers that were architects and designers from the early 1900s uh, who both designed houses and furniture among other things. And the class I took looked at some of the details that they would use on their furniture. And that directly influenced the details that you can see here on this chest. So let's take a closer look at the piece that I built in Daryl's class and notice some of the green and green details. This is the piece. It is simply a corner of a table. Uh, just one corner, one leg, uh, you know, two pieces of apron, the leg. Uh, and this was built just uh, to show the construction of some of the details that green and green would use. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details on this piece. Of course, the signature of green and green are the cloud lifts that they use in a variety of places. And here's one on this apron right at the bottom, how it's a little bit wider as it meets the leg and then it has that nice gentle curve, uh, you know, tapering to a smaller section across uh, the majority of the apron. Here you get a nice view of how a lot of the elements of green and green are in different planes. The leg is uh, horizontal, the table's on its side, and that leg is the highest point. Uh, and then it drops an eighth of an inch to both left and right on the apron, another eighth of an inch to a very small piece, and then another eighth of an inch down to the main apron itself, leaving all these different elements in a slightly different plane, making this piece really three-dimensional. Also notice how everything is really rounded over. All these different pieces have a nice, about eighth of an inch round over uh, from the apron and the leg, and down here at the, bo the bottom of the leg. Everything is nice and very soft, and green and green would often soften all their edges this way. The foot has this beautiful indent detail uh, that comes down here, both left and right, you can see, and it tapers from nothing there down to about an eighth of an inch. So I can get the camera to focus on it, there we go. 
uh, about an eighth of an inch deep, and that really helps define uh, the foot on this piece. And of course, Green and Green uh, were big users of peg details. Some pieces have upwards of 100 pegs on them. Uh, here on the breadboard, there's this nice uh, inlay detail using ebony. And then further down here, we see the pegs, uh, highlighting where the joinery is. Sometimes there might be screws hidden behind there. Most of the time, they're just purely decorative. That's a tour of the details on this uh, very small piece. Let's go ahead and see how I use those details or how those details influence what I did on the toy chest. Now this curved indent detail is used in a variety of places throughout the chest, but it really came as sort of a stylized version of a cloud lift. It's here at the bottom and um, it's just helping to define that rail, make it a little more interesting. Um, it starts there in the corner near the style, just like a cloud lift, and then runs all the way along. So that uh, curved indent detail really came about by thinking about that cloud lift. Of course, green and green used, um, had things in different planes all the time. So everything where they would meet would usually be in a different plane. And here you can make that out. Uh, best here in this back corner. You can see the rail is above the lid rail, which is above the lid style, which is above the lid panel. So there's four different levels right there in the corner um, that really makes this piece a lot more three-dimensional. Of course, you can also make out a peg there in the corner. And I stole these pegs, you know, pretty much directly from Green and Green and other arts and crafts. It's really helping to show the hidden joinery that's behind uh, those pegs. So these pegs, the green and green would be very pillowed over. Arts and crafts would be pretty trapezoidal. I went more uh, kind of in between, started with a trapezoid and then kind of rounded over the corners. Green and green would really round over and soften their edges. And I didn't really want to be so soft here. I, wanted, I like a little bit more defined edges, but I did use a chamfer, a 60 degree chamfer on all my edges uh, to give it a nice lead to the next level and also help to break those edges a little bit. Here on the side, you can make out a lot of the details from the pegs to the curved indent and then all the way down to this foot detail on the back. And again, this came from Green and Green. Uh, from their blacker chair, they actually had a detail similar to this where it would fade up on both sides. Um, I just have it fading up on one side and then fading away also into the center. And the opposite leg would fade uh, back towards this one. So it's kind of helping to define where the chest is and define that foot. Overall, I couldn't be happier with the way that this chest turned out. By really thinking through the, the design uh, all the way from starting with the sketch up, the overall proportions, the K shape, the major pieces, all the way through to those fine details, uh, the indents and the pegs, uh, the chamfer, uh, and then thinking about the layout of those details, where they go on this chest. All of that um, took a lot of thought to put into it and it definitely made the chest really that much more elegant uh, and that much more interesting. So it was a lot of fun to think through all those details, construct those, and really see them brought to life.